Hello, I'm Dionic, and welcome back to Let's Play Dagon Rampa. So, we ended on the most dumbest line, other than the one I just spoke, uh, of the game so far, or of anything, anywhere, everything, every time. How can you declare something I don't understand is fact? Okay, alright, moving on. If Garagiri is certain about it, there must be some evidence supporting her. Something that proves the protein container was brought to the rec room after the seal was broken. Okay. Spill powder, empty protein container, uh, chemical cabinet. Uh, well, we're probably gonna do the empty protein container. There's no question that the protein container was not in the rec room before the seal was broken. Then you're saying it was brought there after the room was unsealed? No, that's not possible. It was always in the rec room before the seal was broken. Ah. Uh, I guess? That- that was weird. Like, I don't know, it, it's almost... I- I don't know, I don't know. So some of them are weird. Some of them are really weird. So some of the, uh, connection things? I don't know. I- I don't even know how to describe how they're weird. It's just- it, it's just a weird line to draw between two things in order to move on. If you know how there- uh, sorry, if you know how there were glass shards scattered around the protein container at the scene? You- oh, you know! Alright, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> the glass from the window you broke. Yes. What about it? The broken glass wasn't just scattered around the container, but under it as well. Right. What? The fact that there was glass under the container means it has to have been placed there after the window was broken. Right. Which makes it after the room was unsealed. So, so that's what that was all about. That's why Kirigiri asked if everyone, if anyone bumped into the container. It could easily have ended up on top of the glass just because someone accidentally kicked it. I get it. So you were eliminating that possibility ahead of time. Before anyone could say, oh yeah, yeah, no, that's, that's what happened. As a result, there is no room left for doubt, is there? Only the bottle of poison was in the rec room. When it was sealed, the protein container was not there. But the two of them were switched after the seal was broken. And we ended up with... Hold on, hold on, let, let, let it circle around. Because I thought... That someone said, okay, so so a comment that uh, that someone left me made me think about this uh, when when I wasn't recording. I I just thought about it. I'm pretty sure that there's just an empty space. Yes. So there's just an empty space. If if you read the same comment that I did, then you probably know what I'm getting at. Uh, but the two. <laughs> of them were switched after the seal was broken and we ended up with the protein container in the rec room and the poison bottle and the chemistry lab. But why would she take the blame? If that's the case, then why did Okami take the poison? Are you saying she didn't take it because Asahina gave it? Gave her the poison, the protein container with the poison inside. A lot of p words. Not that many. I'm just an idiot. No, that's not the case. She must have taken the poison straight from the poison bottle. Given that only the poison bottle was in the room when it was sealed, 
that's the only possible explanation. Then you're saying she ingested it, fully aware that it was poison? That's preposterous. And it's the truth. Explain yourself. Was it suicide? Like, cause that's what I guess that that's that's an easy option now is suicide because it's something that I never really considered. But who would get out alive? My hair. Uh, who would get out alive if it were suicide? Or did she just simply eliminate herself from the game, as everyone's been calling it? Yeah. No, please, explain it to me. Ha! First of all, there's something we all need to be clear about. Who took the poison bottle from the chemistry lab and brought it to the rec room? Hina went and got it, and she gave it to Ogre, right? Well, no, because we literally just said that's not how it happened. What do you think, Nagi? Someone went to the chem lab, got the bottle of poison, and brought it back to the rec room. And that was... Well, it was Sakura because she has poison on her shoe. I think Ogami did herself did. Huh? You're saying the victim, Ogre, went and got the poison herself? What? what are you talking about? She would never! No, she most certainly went to the chemistry lab and to cabinet C where the poison was at that. Liar! You're lying! Why would you lie about something like that? She is lying. Kirigiri provided me with the evidence that shows Ugami did pay a visit to Cabinet C, the shoe. I just have to show that to Asahina and get it through her head. Then she won't be able to deny it. Are, are we looking for the shoe? What are we doing? Oh no! Really? Alright, okay, alright. Damn it! Damn it! Okay, alright. Do I have the right? Okay. Alright, I wasn't sure if I had to switch through ammo again. But it only did that once for me because, uh, because I was. Because it was the first time I did it. I'm not playing a malicious mode, which is the hard mode. Asahino, were you aware that there was some yellow powder found atop Ugami's shoe? Probably not. Her shoe? This right here, as I recall, she or the spilled powder and the chem lab. Was yellow, too, was it not? So, it's not unreasonable to infer that the powder on her foot is the same powder spilled in the chem lab. Ah! But why would there be powder from the chem lab on her foot? Because she walked through the shattered bottle in order to get the poison. That's what we've been saying. On top of her foot, too. Oh, well, she's the one who spilled the bottle, right? Couldn't that be because she was there in the lab when the powder was spilled? Yes. What I'm saying is, I believe it was Nagami herself who spilled the powder by cabinet seat. That would make sense. 
When she dropped the bottle, the powder spilled away from her. So, she was able to avoid the majority of it. But some of the powder must have gotten kicked up and stuck on her shoe. It adds up, doesn't it? Which begs the question, why did Ogami go to Cabinet C? Was she planning to poison someone? Maybe she was planning to poison... Monokuma! The only reasonable answer being... She was there for the poison. After all, what else is in that cabinet? Poison? No, no you're wrong! It was me! I, I brought her the poison. Because I'm... I'm... I'm the one who killed her! No, you didn't kill her. The culprit, the murderer, taking into consideration both the truth behind the poison and the still unsolved sealed room. There's only one person it could be. Okay, well we're gonna go with what I answered initially. Oh no, I can't pick the empty one. Is it me? I don't know. Ah! Alright, let's guess Togami. Negi, you know the answer, don't you? Then stop trying to lead us away from it. I'm not kidding. Okay, well, it's... Alright, then it is Sakura. Can, can I pick? Can I pick dead people? I can. Okay. So why are we having a trial? Was he just hoping that everyone would kill themselves and not being able to figure out who... What is... I'm, I'm, I'm making my hair worse. Let's just stop touching it. Um, what was Matakuma hoping that everyone would, like, just kill themselves and... I don't know. I don't know. Ogami was killed by Ogami herself. <laughs> Well, what did you say? Ogami herself is the culprit? So, so you're saying it was suicide? That, that's crazy dog. Crazier than people who jump off buildings thinking they can fly. Yeah, it's hard to believe. I don't even want to believe it. But if you look at things like that, all the pieces fall into place. Gami retrieved the poison herself and she ingested it of her own will. To put an end to her own life. And then, there's the sealed room. It makes perfect sense why we couldn't figure it out. That would be because it was constructed by... The victim herself! Because she locked the door when she was... The sealed room was constructed from inside by Ugami herself. She likely sealed the room off to prevent anyone from interfering and interfering with her. She took a little trail off like that if you're just gonna end the sentence. She then took the poison, ending her life. And until the seal on the room, on the rec room, was broken, the poison bottle was inside the room. But after the seal was broken, someone removed it. That was you, Asahino, wasn't it? 
Everything you did was to steer our investigation off track, am I right? When we discovered Ogami's body, you were just standing by the door. Because you already knew she was dead. As well as the fact that the poison bottle was there on the floor by the entrance. That's when he picked up the bottle, isn't it? Well, Kirigiri and I were distracted, me shocked by Yagami's death, and her busy checking for a pulse. Plus, thinking back on it now, your behavior then was a little peculiar. I gotta go get them. Gotta go get everyone else. Asahina staggered out of the rec room. You said you were going to get everyone else. However, your true destination was the chem lab, where you could exchange the containers. When you arrived at the lab, you went straight to the cabinet A, where the protein was stored. You built the empty poison bottle. That was some quick thinking. Like, that was really fast reaction time for her to be like, Oh, well, Sakura killed herself, so I better cover it up. Because that would mean that Asahira would automatically have to know what I Unless Sakura told her what was going to happen, right? And she was trying to talk her out of it or something? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. He filled the empty bottle with poison, or sorry, the empty poison bottle with protein. And left with just an empty protein container. That, that would then explain the footprints, too. After that, you rushed to get the others returning to the rec room. I brought them. Whoa! Uh, ogre! Well, looky here. Big girl's gone bye-bye. I see Ogami's been murdered. And while everyone's eyes were on Ogami's body, he quietly set the protein container on the floor. I should have realized it right then and there. Normally, you would have rushed over to Agami's body before any of the rest of us, Asahina. In that situation, you would not have left Agami's side. I mean, but... I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know if she just wanted to cover it up because she thought that, you know, uh... Suicide is, like, so shameful or something? Or if it was... I don't know. If, if there was... Some other reason. Gummy committed suicide. And you planted fake evidence to hide that fact. As long as you could keep the truth from coming out, you didn't care if you yourself became a suspect. That's why you didn't do anything about the footprints in the chem lab or the protein filled poison bottle. You intentionally left those incriminating pieces of evidence for us to find. So, you're saying, Asahina tampered with the scene to make it look like she was the killer. No. No. You're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. I'm the killer. I murdered Sakura. That's enough, Asahina. It's all over. No! It's not over! It is over. No. We have to end it. We have to put an end to this. Okie dokie! Alright, we've been over this a few times, so hopefully this is easy. 
Maybe. No, hold on. Stop it. All right, he got a message too. She went. Oh right. Okay. Yeah. 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 No. No. She hid in the uh, in the storage locker. Oh wait. Is there another storage locker looking thingy? Yeah. Here. Here we go. That's that's what happened. Okay. And uh, this is dude hitting her in the head with the bottle after eating her candy. Um, so yeah, this was the night? I, I think that was the night. Yeah, yeah. And then Fukawa. And then you peeked out. And then you put the magazine upside down. And then you switched and went crazy or split personality and hit her with that bottle right uh yeah yeah that, that's it there that's it there okay and then and then you drank that and then... You picked up the bottle. And then you put... This here. Right? Or may maybe these two should be switched, I don't know. Yeah, no, I think, I think that's it. Let's see. What he said. That it was not translated. Ready, ready, ready! The case began with a gum. With a gummy inviting three people to meet her in the rec room. The gek here, Fukawa and Togami. Of the three of them, Fukawa was the first to enter the rec room. Arriving before anyone else, she hid herself somewhere in the rec room. I really like the music. Her hiding place was inside the rec room locker. From there, she watched as Zagami entered the rec room. Entered the room, not the rec room, but yeah, also the rec room. The next person to enter the room was Hagekia. Mistakenly assuming that Ugami intended to kill him, he freaked out. Instinctively grabbing one of the nearby Monokuma bottles and attacking her with it. Believing himself to have accidentally murdered Ugami, Hagekia set to work planting a red herring. He saw the magazine lying on the table and wrote a certain person's name in it, intending it as a fake dying message. Fukawa. By writing her name in the magazine, he attempted to shift the blame for his crime onto her. But Fukawa herself had borne witness to the whole thing inside the locker. She stepped out of the locker, realized the fake evidence, and returned it, uh, returned it to the magazine rack. Retreat, rather. Probably. I don't know. I don't know what it actually said. However, in doing so, she slipped up. She put it upside down. When she put the magazine in the magazine rack, she put it back upside down. 
Just moments later, Gami regained consciousness and appeared before Fukawa. And she passed out at the sight of the blood of Onugami's face. As a result, her genocider show personality gained control. And when she woke up, she was once again greeted by Ugami's blood-covered face. And, as you would expect, she freaked out. Just as Igekura had done, she grabbed a nearby Monokuma bottle and attacked Ugami with it. This explains why she had two wounds on her head. Believing herself to have just killed Ugami, Genocider got to work disposing of the evidence. She collected the Monokuma bottle fragments and the Monokuma figure holding the queen. And with that, Ugami had been struck twice with the same weapon. Sort of. Sort of same weapon. Very similar weapon. But despite that, she was still alive. So here's the question. What was her true cause of death? The answer, poison. She herself took from the chem lab. She sealed the rec room from the inside, preventing anyone from entering, and then took the poison. Ending her own life. I, I, okay. I haven't been saying it very often because I figured you guys were tired of me being like, I love Sakura so much, but I love Sakura. She was the most amazing, badass character in this game. She was my favorite. She was like the hero of the game, in my opinion. And, and well, you know, you're playing uh, the obvious hero of the game, but she she was she was the heroine of the game that was like, I don't know, I, I really felt like she was gonna kill everyone and everything was gonna be okay with Sakura around. And you know, everything, no, no one stood a chance with Sakura around. But then this happened and I'm like completely heartbroken and I've been trying to get past it and be like, okay, whatever. But then like, it's even worse now because she killed herself for some reason. And I'm, I'm still not 100% sure why, and I'm not sure if anyone else is 100% sure why. Or if there was some kind of incentive, like, uh... I don't know. I, I don't know what, uh, like, who they were holding hostage, or... Or, or, or why? I, I don't know why. I guess we're gonna find out why. But still, like, it's, it's so heartbreaking for me to see this. Anyway, ending her own life. Next, we found her corpse. I broke the window in the rec room door, breaking the seal on the room at the time. At the same time. However, someone there already knew that Ugami had committed suicide. They snuck out with the bottle of poison. And replaced it with a protein container while nobody was looking. In doing so, they brought suspicion onto themselves. They lead us away from the truth. The truth during the class trial. And the person who did all this was you, Asahina. And that is the truth behind this case. <laughs> <laughs> Ugami took her own life. And you claim you were the culprit. But I had that fact, didn't you, Asahina? That's 
That's the truth? So, you know, she literally just disproved his, his dumb little statement where he was like, nobody would ever do anything for anyone but themselves, but Asahina was about to throw herself under the bus just to protect, you know, Sakura's dignity. Like, like that, that's, that's, that's pretty great. It's a pretty messed up situation, but, but she's, she's a pretty great person. But Negi, how did you... How did the likes of you reach that conclusion because of all the evidence, you dick? When I was unable to, because of all the evidence, you dick? Huh? Well, uh... You still don't get it. Gain and loss are not the only criteria humans use to make decisions. That's what makes them so complex. You don't understand that. And that's why you couldn't reach the truth. I warned you, didn't I? That your lack of consideration for human emotion would come back to haunt you. And we almost all got killed. If we would have just listened to you instead of going through all the evidence, we would have all died. Yeah. Maybe he's gonna try to kill uh, Kirigiri next. Oh, it's done. Okay, so I mean, I don't know if there's gonna be like a cutscene or anything. Like, there's not gonna be like a, a kill someone uh, thing. <laughs> There's not going to be, like, a kill someone cutscene because, you know, the person who was murdered was murdered by themselves. So, unless we're going to have, like, a, a pyre burial, like, or, uh, you know, pyre burning or so something like that. And that would be cool because that would be actual closure versus everyone else getting murdered in horrible ways. So, anyway. Yay! I mean, like, everyone's dead now, like, it doesn't even matter. Hey, uh, hey, uh, you guys making the it sound like you think the punchline's already been delivered. But you seem to have forgotten, we haven't had ballot time yet. Okay. Okay, so ballot time. Ah, yes, that's right. You actually forgot? Yeah. Yeah, you're no fun. We're getting used to the life or death scenarios. But it's kind of tradition, so I guess we've got to do it anyway. If just for show. I know it's a bit of a pain, but please cast your ballot using the switch in front of you. Are we all about to die? I wonder who the villain's gonna be. Will you be right, or will you be oh so wrong? You don't seem very enthused about this at all, little Monokuma. Let's find out. Yay, here we go. Here, here's the thing that we're supposed to do. Yay, we were right! And we get money, apparently. And flowers. And a giant Monokuma face. Hi. Correct! Yep, Sakura Ogami was murdered by Sakura Ogami. That's it. The end. So, you guys were right. But there's something I still don't get. Boy. To what end did you attempt to cover up the truth behind Ogami's death, Asahina? Had you actually succeeded, you too, too would have been executed. So why would you do such a thing? Yeah, dude, you almost got us all killed. That... that... That was what I was going for. Oh, okay, so does she blame everyone else for Sakura's suicide? Huh? 
The reason Sakura died is because you all backed her into a corner. You all killed her. So, I couldn't let her be the only one who died. Girl, are you saying you wanted to drag us all down with you? Someone has to pay the price. Me, you, everyone. We're all responsible for her death. Like, I, I... I don't feel that. I don't feel like Sakura killed herself out of sadness. Like, I feel like there must have been something bigger than that, right? Like, uh... If, if only because of the people that were being held hostage. I mean... I guess I can see from Asahina's perspective why she would blame everyone, but I, I don't know. I, I feel like there's more to it and that I'm not willing to accept the blame because I loved Sakura and, and like, yeah. So, I, I mean, and I think Negi probably did too, if, if only I, because I was living through him. So, we all should pay. You, you for real? What makes you think that? Still don't get it. Fine. I'll tell you. I'll tell you just how much despair Sakura was in when she died. Oh. Look at this. So one, that would have, you know, that would have made the case. That, that would have made the case, because usually when people commit suicide, they want to leave something behind for people, and usually there's a note, right? And, or, or some message of some kind. And, uh... Yeah, so, so that's messed up. I, I... I despair of everything. This constant fighting, it's ugly, and only serves to deepen my despair. If all I can do is wait for someone to kill me, I would rather end things by my own hand. Wh what? Like, I don't, I don't feel like that sounds like Sakura. I don't know, I, I hope. I hope not. I mean, I wish she would have come and talked to us or talked to me or, or something. I mean, I, I hope not. I, I hope that wasn't like actually her. What? what? <laughs> I found it on the floor outside the rec room. That's Sakura's suicide note. Her suicide note? In hindsight, there were clues she was planning to do this even before it happened. Earlier today, after Genocider attacked me, when Sakura ran out of the infirmary all angry about it, I chased after her. Hey, Sakura, relax. I'm fine. I'm fine. How could I possibly relax? I care, I care not if they come after me. I accept full responsibility for my actions. But for you to suffer because of me? You do say. For you, my dear friend, to stand up for me? You do so. And to be injured as a result? So, Sakura. Because of me. Because of what I have done. I have turned everyone against each other. I... Because you were... I keep forgetting that she was the mole, so we, we don't really know, like, what was done, right? Like, we don't really know what she had done. 
I mean, she was told to kill someone, but I, she didn't do that. But this is implying that she actually did do something, right? I am responsible for everything. Sakura blamed herself. She felt responsible for everything. I'm sure the reason she wanted to talk to you there, three, was to find out if there was anything she could do to earn your forgiveness. That's so messed up. That is so messed up. That is... Really? That is so messed up. All right. You're going to meet with them. That's a really bad idea. You're putting yourself in danger. Oh. Worry not. I'm simply going to speak with them. Demo. What about? Mm. Mm. You really shouldn't go. If all three of them come at you at once, even you couldn't. Asahina. Asahina. Do not mistake them for your enemies. They are our friends. She she was so sweet. Like she she was definitely she, she is. I I don't know. I I can't. I there's some alternate universe where she's still alive, or or maybe or maybe this is gonna end with it was all a dream. Or something like that. Uh, but... You know, Sakura is awesome. S Sakura? She trusted you guys. She really, truly believed in you. That you would be able to understand if she opened up to you. That you were her friends. I'm... I'm old. I'm choking back the tears. If you if you guys can't notice, I I can never notice if uh if the glare on my glasses is really bad, so you can't see my eyes or, or what. But yeah, I'm I'm choking back the tears. And yet. And yet. She stomped all over her feelings, and the worst possible ways. Like, that, that's really how people are when they're afraid of you. And that, that's, that's, that's fear. That's fear. That, that is how fear, uh, is, is acted out. Like, that is fear, is, you know, I don't know, pe people sometimes are too dumb to not like, be afraid. People are, you know, too dumb to accept that, you know, gentle giants aren't going to hurt you. Anyway. What? Uh, uh. well, well, uh, that was more like an accident. Don't you try to weasel out by calling it an accident. She trusted you guys, and you wouldn't even give her the time of day. You were- you very nearly killed her, without even hearing her out. Whatever. Whatever! Whatever, Hare! She was in despair because of you. That's what this note says. Or is that- that's what this note is saying, rather. If all I can do is wait for someone to kill me, I might as well... That's how far you had backed her into a corner. 
Sakura, you're hurt. What happened? Asahina. Uh, Asahina. So you came. Stay right there. I'll go find some something to get you bandaged up. Asahina. Asahina. Huh? I am... I am grateful to have the opportunity to meet you here. What, what's wrong, Sakura? What is this, all of a sudden? Could, could I ask a favor of you? A favor? I would like some protein. Could I ask you to get some for me? S sure. Yeah. Hang on. I'll be right back with it. That was the last time Sakura and I ever spoke. I went to the chem lab to get the protein she asked for. And there was powder all over the floor. That's when I realized... That Sakura had gotten... Something from the poison cabinet. I ran back to the rec room as fast as I could. But I was... Too... Sakura died alone! That's horrible! That's horrible! That is so horrible! Sakura! Open up! Open the door! Why? Why should you... Why should you have to die, Sakura? Sakura was just a regular person. She had weaknesses, just like everyone else. She bled, she felt pain. She was just a regular, fragile human being. And yet, you... You all keep... demonizing her. Kept accusing her of things. And when I got hurt, trying to stand up for her, I burdened her even further. And I didn't even realize what I had done. Asahina. We all killed Sakura. We backed her into a corner and killed her. There's no good reason for us to go on li living having done something that... Having done that to her. <laughs> I mean, from Asahina's perspective, I can see why. So you thought you'd try to take us all down. You intentionally tried to lure us to the wrong conclusion. She died despising everyone, and I wanted to get revenge for her. But you saw through me, and in the end, I couldn't do anything for her. How am I supposed to face her now? Hey! Sorry for interrupting your sob story. But, holy mother of God almighty, does it ever end? I'm falling asleep in my chair here. I thought he was gone by now. And anywho, do you really think you can know what Ogami was thinking as she died, Asahina? What's that supposed to mean? Let's be honest, most of what you've been rambling on about for the last ever is just your interpretation. An interpretation pr predicted on the at suicide note. Uh, of course I know. Sakura and I were... If you'd let me finish, I was trying to say... Hi. The basis for all your interpretation is invalid.
And that is, er, sorry, and that this baby here might possibly, mayhaps, be the real thing. What's that, dude? As if I, as if it weren't obvious enough. It's a suicide note, Ugamis. Su suicide note? But didn't that Sahina already? Really? I wrote that one! This one was left in your room, Asahina. Ugami must have wanted you to have it. Wait, so... You tricked me? Trick is such a harsh way of putting it. I just wanted to spice things up a bit, that's all. And anyway, you're responsible for whatever you decided to believe my sil- or that you decided- I don't know, uh, Scribbles Mint. However you sentenced. I mean, it's not like Agami's name is anywhere on it. That's true. That- that's not fair. Nothing's unfair about it. I did- I didn't do nothing wrong. Did I plant fake evidence? Did I try to divert your attention from the true culprit? All right. You guys are the reason this happened, and you guys are the reason it got so messy. I didn't do anything. So what if that suicide note was the spark that set it all off? It was still all you guys' work. I'm totally in the clear. It was just part of the show. So, what does her real suicide note say? If you really want to know, I'll read it to everyone with my world-renowned beautiful voice. By the way, don't you kind of wonder just who exactly came up with the idea of people leaving notes behind before committing suicide? Does, does someone have to come up with that idea? That seems like just just human instinct. Sadly, I'm willing to bet that whoever it was had already taken their own life. Come on. Well, we'll never know. It's scary to think how things can just get waste washed away on the river of time like that. Would you please get started already? Yeah, yeah. Here I go. <clears throat> My dear friend Asahina, there is something I must share with you. Though it pains me to do so in this fashion, it is something I would like you to know. This is my final wish. As you have already been made aware, I served under the Puppet Master as his mole. The Puppet Master intentionally approached me on the first night of this bizarre new lifestyle. To, ha to having taken hostage my clan's dojo and ordered me to submit myself into his service. You might think it not, but a simple place of training, but it has been in my clan's care for 300 years. I could not let it fall with my generation. I felt the need to protect it. Even exchange for my own life. It was that sentence. Sorry, it was that sentiment from which my weakness flowed. I, I expected her to continue talking, but no and by which I was driven to comply with the Puppet Master's demands. A grave mistake. He bid me to take someone's life. He was concerned about the equilibrium forming among the students, that the first murder would not occur. 
However, neither he nor I had predicted Sayaka Mezono would take action before I was to. Consequently, his orders changed. I was to remain on standby, to wait for equilibrium to begin forming again. But as our lives continued together, as life with you, Asahina continued, my resolve shook. Watching you all struggle, fight tooth and nail to survive, made me painfully aware of the weakness I held within, the weakness that drove me to succumb. But above all, it made me aware that I could not betray those who considered me their friend. My perspective began to change. So that's why she... I made my decision. I will, st I will stand idly by no more. I will pay. I will play your game no more, and I will be enslaved by my past no more. I have resolved myself to fight against you. Because she did, I spilled her little secret, and everyone ended up hating her. Imagine that. You do something thinking you're helping everyone, and they all hate you for it. <laughs> well, iron my knee and call me Iron Knee. I th That was a bad joke. That, that was a bad joke, even for my standards. Irony. Uh, if that ain't the best kind of irony, I don't know what is. Um. That I am resented by everyone is a matter of course. I brought it upon myself with my weakness. I had every intention of graciously accepting any and all ill will directed at me. I believe that to be my way of atoning for my betrayal. But I was naive. I had created too great a problem to solve by dragging only myself through the mud. The situation reached a point where I alone was no longer able to handle it. And that was exactly the Puppet Master's intention in revealing my betrayal. The fear and doubt, discord and dissonance it invited he predicted it would end in more murder. But even that falls on my shoulders. It is my responsibility to resolve the problems brought about by my mistakes. In order to fulfill that responsibility, I have resolved to comply with the Puppet Master's orders to take someone's life. Only the life I intend to take is my own. If the Puppet Master desires me to kill, then it is I who I shall kill. In doing so, the hostage taken at the clan's dojo will be set free, but most importantly, my death will extinguish the flame of conflict I set before it drives any of you to murder. To that end, I offer up my life. Each and every one of you is worth that price. You give my sacrifice meaning. However, you might think me, I consider each of you a dear friend. Sakura is such a great person! First I've ever had. Wait, so Sakura... 
didn't die, backed into a corner full of hate, full of hate, hatred for everyone? But to stop us all from fighting? To protect us? So. She didn't take her own life out of weakness. Rather, it was the opposite. She did it because she was strong. Far too strong. That's what led her to the end. Or to, that's what led her to end her life. She chose death in order to protect us. No normal person could attain that degree of selflessness. Then. I really hope that this changes uh, Togami's perspective on life and everything. My hair is a disaster. But her strength made it possible for her. Asahina, allow me to end with an apology. I kept this a secret because I knew you would try to stop me. I am truly sorry, but please do not sorrow. If I am able to put an end to the Puppet Master's scheming, if I am able to stop the killing, there is nothing more I could ask for. This is the path I have chosen for myself. This is my atonement. With this note, my class trial should end with little difficulty. Asahina, I know it will be difficult, but I would like you to finish the work I am setting out to begin. I am going to meet with Togami, Fukawa, and Hegekir. While I will hide my intention to end my own life, I would at least like to share with them my feelings. The rest must be shown by action, not word. I believe that in doing so, they will finally come to realize that we are not the enemies destined to despise one another, but that we are friends and allies. Asahina, whatever it takes, I want you to survive, to live alongside your friends. You must live on. My... my god. I had no idea how Sakura felt. A and I called myself her friend. No joke. She wouldn't have wanted you to do any of that meddling. Ogami died to shut the, the Colosseum down, but because of you, things almost went straight up. Roman. Straight up Roman. Straight up Roman. Gami died for nothing, and it's all your fault. Even better, because of all your meddling, you dragged everyone else into the lion's den, too. It's blame game time. Everyone points and scowl at Asahina. And why wouldn't you? She deserves it. That is freaking horrible. Someone dropkick the teddy bear. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, boop, boop. 10,000... Sorry, 10,000 yen. I know who the next victim is. Oh, be quiet. Nobody's blaming her for anything. Okay, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and stop this here with, with that uplifting silence and everything. Uh, thanks so much for watching. We'll, we'll have the conclusion and then probably a lot more uh, after this. Thanks so much for watching, leave a like, comment on what you think of the game so far, go check out the other videos I've done, and I will see you soon.